All right, so today I'm trying to figure out if wood glue is actually stronger than screws. I've got a couple of different joint types here, one which is screws with pocket holes, um, and the other which is the other three, really, which are all just glue and some sort of different joint. Uh, so I'm really curious which one's going to be the strongest. I've got a scale here, and I'm going to try putting weight on each one. Uh, I'm not actually sure if that's going to work, so I have a backup plan with a clamp. We'll see what happens. So stay tuned. Is wood glue stronger than screws? We're going to find out. All right, so our first test is going to be with the simplest joint possible. This is just a butt joint. We've put one edge up against the other board and glued them together. Um, this is the, I guess, the joint that I think is going to be the weakest simply because wood glue typically doesn't attach to the edge grain of wood all that well. Um, so we're going to start with this one, see how it does, um, see if my expectations are correct or not. Um, so I'm just going to start by putting this on the scale and slowly putting weight on the joint. We are at 35 pounds, 47, 60 was where I think we fell. So this took 60 pounds of weight before it broke. All right, so our next one is the miter joint. Um, just wood glue here and the uh, two pieces of board are both cut at a 45 degree angle and then attached together with the wood glue. No nails, no screws, they were just clamped together. Um, so let's see how this one does. We are at 30 pounds, 40 pounds, 50, 60, 70. This is hard. This hurts. <laughs> I'm gonna put a rag down so that my hands don't hurt quite so much when I do this. And the scale turned off and I don't know why. All right, 30, 50, 70. All right, it took my entire weight. So <laughs> this one is clearly stronger than the first one we tried. Um, I'm going to move on and try and test it with my backup clamp setup. We'll see how that goes. All right, so it's really hard to clamp on an edge, so instead I've set up this little contraption. I cut a groove in some scrap wood to try and help me. At the moment, we've got about 41 pounds of force on this. Come on. 55. 75, 97, 108, 120, 130, 140. All right, 140. And that was the miter joint that fell at 140 pounds. All right, so now I've got the last glue joint. Um, this is the box joint where you have all these interlocking sections of the wood, which gives more glue for, or more surface area for the glue to stick on. So this is the one I'm expecting to be the strongest, but let's go ahead, see how it works. Um, at the moment, it's got about 22 pounds of force, 27, 32, 42, 55, 63, 74, 85, 92, 101, 112, 109. There was a crack in here but it's still, still together, so we'll see. 115, 124, 133, 
164, 177, 187, 197, 205. All right, and I think it failed. I think it's being held together by friction maybe at this point. All right, I think we failed. I think that's... No. So the glue has certainly failed. I think the friction is still there. Yeah, the friction was what was holding it together still. All right, so that one failed at 210 pounds of force. All right, so we are back with the last one. Um, this is the joint that has two pocket hole screws. There is no glue on this one, just the two pocket hole screws. Um, so let's see how it does. So at the moment we've got about 21 pounds of force, 33 pounds, 41 pounds, 50 pounds, 68 pounds, 82 pounds, 93 pounds, 100 pounds, 108 pounds, 108 pounds. Um, I've made it back up to 99 pounds. And I can't seem to get it higher than that. Um, the wood is flexing and it appears that the screws, the more I try to appear weight to it. I've applied everything I can and it's separating down here. So I think we got up I'd say 108 pounds before this started to come apart. Clearly it didn't crash quite as magnificently but failed slowly just like our box joint did. And it started to fail at 108 pounds. So there we go. All right so first off surprises. I definitely thought that this pocket hole joint was going to be stronger than the miter joint. Partly because my miter joints aren't actually that great. They're kind of ugly. They don't line up that well. They're just not that great. Um, so I really did think that even the screws alone with the pocket hole joint would be stronger than the miter joint, and it just wasn't. Um, I do think I'm still going to use pocket hole joints and pocket hole screws over the miter, just because my miters, like I said, they're ugly and my pocket holes are not. Um, so I probably will continue to use pocket hole joints, but I'll just make sure to put glue, which is just a good practice anyway, put glue in the joint as well, which should make it a little bit stronger. Um, so that was my big surprise. If you were surprised by that too, go ahead and tell me by hitting like below. Um, my next takeaway from this was these box joints. Um, this was the strongest joint. It failed around 210 pounds and um, I was kind of surprised at how it failed. So I was expecting these other joints, when they failed, they crashed kind of dramatically to the scale. Um, but the box joint was held together by friction. Um, and so it didn't crash quite as dramatically, it just kind of slid a little bit and the pressure released, I guess. Um, and I was a little bit confused by that actually when I was doing the experiment. Um, but the glue had failed, but the friction was still holding the joint together. And I think that's just good to know that um, when you're using something like a box joint, the friction makes it just a little bit stronger, that even once the glue fails, your joint will probably still stay together. Um, finally, I think the answer to our initial question of, is wood glue stronger than screws? Yes, I think we do have a conclusive answer. Yes, wood glue, 
um, was definitely stronger in the two cases where we had a real joint going on, wood glue was clearly stronger than our screws. Um, so that's the conclusion here. If you found this useful and helpful, make sure you hit like and subscribe below. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.